Hi, this is USD JPY and today it's Monday 12th of August 2013 and the time is 11.41 GMT. We are looking at the H4 time frame of the pair and uh, we see that uh, the pair is about to resume its uptrend after making this strong W formed bullish pattern. It's a double bottom or W form uh, strong bullish pattern, not just a V, not just uh, one uh, swing low, two swing lows. Okay, it shows strength, bullish strength. So um, we will be monitoring our trade from H4 time frame. We are using Ichimoku Kinko here, but uh, this is not a prerequisite, although um, it will help you a lot uh, to, to uh, monitor your trade and spot your entries and your exits. Uh, if you don't have my book, uh, you can ask me to send you a free PDF copy. Um, email me at hi at forexid.com and you will have a, a free copy. And um, we go to the bigger time frames first to see the big picture. Um, on the daily on the daily chart, we see that uh, uh, biases are bullish, but still the pair the price is below the Kumo, so this is a, a bearish picture. Uh, although Chiku Span is turned upwards, uh, and um, the fact that we have this uh, horizontal uh, orientation of the Kumo. Uh, shows that there is a consolidation, there is a, 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 um, a sideway movement in, in a bigger sense. We can insert some trend lines for, to make this more obvious to you, to see the triangle. And uh, this triangle uh, at a certain point is going to be broken and we are going to have a, a very strong breakout. Okay, now uh, let's remove the trend lines and go to the weekly chart. We see a very strong bullish picture here, a very, uh, very, uh, uh, an upward uh, sloping uh, leading Kumo, a, bear, a bullish Kumo. Uh, its edge is not as sharp as we would like to be, but it's definitely bullish. The, the huge distance between Sekuspan B and Sekuspan A, the two board borders of the Kumo, shows bullish momentum. And um, we see that uh, the slope is so uh, strong upwards, it's almost vertical. Okay. And uh, on the monthly chart, you see that the pair is uh, still moving inside the Kumo, but its uh, intentions, its mood is to go out of it and make a bullish Kumo breakout on the monthly chart, which is every trader's dream. Okay. So um, back to the smaller time frames. Uh, we want to, to, to pinpoint our exact entry point okay we go to h1 and see we just had a few hours ago one two three four candlesticks ago we had a bullish kumo breakout here and um, things look uh, definitely uh, bullish although chiku span is not above the kumo yet we want it to be above the kumo do we want the price to fly away from the magnetic attraction of the flat top Kumo here. Okay, so things look bullish on M on H1, but we don't use H1 to enter. M30, uh, things look bullish, but we want Chiku Span to go straight up. You see how sharp and pointing upwards the edge of the leading Kumo is? You can cut your finger on it. But we don't have Chiku Span going straight up, so we wait. M15, we have a leading Kumo with a sharp edge pointing upwards, but we see the price is moving sideways for the last few candlesticks and Chiku Span is turned downwards. We don't want this. We want Chiku Span to go straight up, so we will wait. Okay? M5, 
we see that uh, the price is moving sideways, is in a consolidation mode for a while. We want Chiku Span instead of touching the price or moving horizontally, we want it to go straight up above past price action and above the Kumo, of course. We want to see it going straight up in the open space. The leading Kumo doesn't help us much here because of this consolidation but we would prefer to have a sharp edge pointing upwards. So you can wait and enter on the breakout. It doesn't matter if you miss a few pips. It's better to enter with a very strong bullish momentum in the market. M1. Uh, here we see the, the problem, <laughs> a small problem for now. Uh, the price was going up but now it made a bearish kumo so it wanted to go up again above the cloud above the kumo and uh, when we see it going straight up above the kumo somewhere here and chiku span going above past price action and above the kumo somewhere here then we will be um, that would be the best time to enter ignore my entry line here because um, Everything is live, everything happens now, so uh, unless all your criteria, your entry criteria are met, you don't enter, you stay out, okay? There is no emergency, there are a million opportunities for you to make a lot of money, wait, nobody pushes you, nobody puts a gun on your head to enter now, wait till all, all conditions are met, so we want to see the first time frame we watch and we want it to be 100% bullish is M1. Once everything looks wildly bullish here, we go to M5 to make sure everything looks as bullish as we like it to be. We go to M15, we want to make sure everything is definitely bullish here. M30, we want it to be wildly bullish. Chikuspan going straight up, not curved, not angled downwards. M1. H1, sorry, we want it to be clearly bullish. Where is Chikuspan? What is it doing? We want it to go straight up here. H4, we want uh, things to be as bullish as possible, although uh, bullish bias is here, but uh, things are, look bearish yet. And this is it. We enter, we put our stop loss below the lowest, uh, the, lowest uh, the swing low here around 100 pips below our entry we trail our stop using the h1 time frame we trail it um, 30 40 50 pips below its new um, higher low because price when it goes up it makes higher highs and higher lows when it makes higher high higher low higher high higher low uh, the next higher high it will make a higher low and then it will make a new higher high when it makes a new higher, higher high we trail our stop from here a few pips below the higher low which it made previously so that's what I mean when I say uh, trail your stop below the new uh, uh, higher low after it is validated by consequent price action okay uh, this is how you trail your stop and since we enter after a, a bullish Kumo breakout on the H1 time frame, ideally we should exit after a bullish, after a bearish Kumo breakout on the same time frame. You can see the opposite happening here. We had, I will insert shapes to see the Kumo breakout to Kumo breakout uh, entry and exit. So, if we had entered short when the bearish Kumo breakout happened on H1 time frame, we would exit with the bullish Kumo breakout on the same time frame, and all this would be our profit. Okay? I want you to have the same picture in your mind, but reversed because now we enter long at a bullish Kumo breakout and we expect to enter short, uh, to exit short uh, at a bearish Kumo breakout on the same time frame. Okay? So, um, thanks for watching and uh, happy pips!